Good morning, friends. Welcome to This Day Devo. I'm Pastor Guy. It is good to be here with you on this Tuesday morning as we read the remaining passage of Mark 15, verses 16 to 47, where we uh, we read about the soldiers mocking Jesus, the crucifixion, the death of Jesus, and the burial of Jesus. You know, ain't nobody like to be mocked, do we? I don't want to be mocked. I don't want to be picked on. I don't want to be made fun of. I don't want to be the butt of the joke. What we read today is farther confirmation, and there's so much in here, but um, Jesus was crucified at the age of 33 throughout his ministry and probably in some ways prior to his ministry. He was mocked. He was mocked in his life. He was mocked in his ministry. He was mocked day in and day out while he was doing good, while he was healing people, while he was teaching the way of righteousness. He was on this track where he was where they were plotting to kill him, laughing at him, making fun of him, just casting him off as just another uprising, right? Just a revolutionary, no more than just a fancy uh, Barabbas. And so he's mocked all the time. And then in his death, we read today, he is mocked. The soldiers are dressing up like uh, like royalty and they're wearing, they're prancing around in his clothes and they're spitting on him. And then while he's on the cross, people are passing by and they're shouting abuse and they're shaking their heads and they're, oh, he saved others, but he can't save himself. They're mocking him. They're scoffing at him. And to this day, 2,000 years later, when the name of Jesus is brought up in certain circles or in the public square or certain nations, Jesus is mocked. He's laughed at. He's not wanted. Oh, you're one of those people. Oh, you're a Christian. Oh, you believe in Jesus. They're mocking the Christian faith and by through through which they're mocking Jesus. But Jesus knew this would be the case. In fact, he talked about it quite a bit. In the Sermon on the Mount, we read back when we did Matthew, uh, we did Matthew in Matthew chapter five, uh, verses eleven and twelve. Jesus says this to his followers: "God blesses you when people mock you." Huh. I like the, I like where this is going. God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you. If they're doing those things because you are my followers. L- listen to that. This Jesus is saying, if you're getting mocked, persecuted, lied about, all sorts of evil thrown at you because you're my follower, guess what? What's What do you receive for that? You receive God's blessing. And so how amazing. So how do we respond? Verse 12 says, be happy about it. Be glad about it. For a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember that the ancient prophets, they were persecuted in the same way. Be happy about it. That, I mean, that's not easy. That doesn't come naturally. That's not what my flesh wants to do. What does my flesh want to do? I want to get vengeance. I want to hit back. I want to find something about the other person that I can mock and persecute and lie about and make fun of. I want to wage war. But that's not what we're called to do. We, we turn the other cheek and we pray for the people who persecuted us. It's not this. It's the way of Jesus. The way of Jesus is not, it's not, to, be, it's not to be a jellyfish and just take it. It's to be the bigger man and pray. And lift up and say, I love you anyway, because I love you the way Jesus loves you. And I look at you and I bring compassion. Blessed when you're mocked. If you're mocked because you're a follower of Jesus. Wow. That's a powerful truth. 
That is a powerful truth and something that we need to remember and we need to be glad about and we need to be brave about to say, you know what? If they look at me differently because they now know I'm a follower of Jesus, I accept that reward as a badge of honor. The sin is not mine, it's theirs. And so I pray, Lord, show them your way. Open their eyes and their ears to your truth. Today I learned this about Jesus, and on this day I will this. How do you feel in those blanks? Thanks for being here with me today. I hope you have a great Tuesday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. down from heaven as the power of Christ.